In this video we're going to be looking at creating surface plots using base graphics in the R statistical software. So we'll be using a data set on surface elevation and this data set is available in the package GOR. So first up we load this data into R and we get a message back telling us that it's been loaded successfully. Now the data is stored in an object elevation and this object has got a couple of bits of information. It's got a list of coordinates, which are the XY coordinates across a grid for the uh, 52 measurements. And these are recorded as multiples of 50 feet. And it's also got a measurement of the elevation itself. And these are multiples of 10 feet. So what we want to do is to create a data frame based on this object. So we have a separate column for each of the X and Y coordinates and the elevation. So I copy across this command to create the data frame where we've got columns X, Y and Z where we simply extracted the relevant information from the two elements making up the data object elevation. So now what we're going to do is fit a local trend service to this data so that we can estimate what the surface would be across the whole of the grid and we'll use this fitted surface to create our surface plot. Now we're going to make use of the low S function and we're going to fit a quadratic local trend service. So if we copy the command across from our text file, we'll see that we're saving the fitted model object as the object elevation.lowS, making use of the low S function. So our formula is that our heights stored in the column Z are related to the X and Y coordinates and a second degree local trend service is used as we specify the degree equals to function argument. So we fit that model and the next thing we need to do is to create a grid of x and y coordinates which we're then going to use this trend service to estimate the height at those various points. So we make use of the expand.grid function and we give it a list of two variables x and y coordinates which we're going to run from 10 to 300 feet at intervals of 5 feet. The expand.grid gives us a combination of all of the different x and y coordinates created by the sequences. We store that object as elevation.fit. So then what we want to do is to use these elevation pairs of x and y coordinates to predict what the local trend surface has for height at that particular combination. So we make use of the function predict. In predict we specify the fitted model elevation.lowS and then new data is merely a data frame which stores information about the x and y coordinates of interest. We save that as an object z. Then what we want to do is to break this down for use in the lattice graphics using the as numeric function which strips out the various um, formatting information. So in the base graphics package we've got a function persp and this function persp creates a perspective plot which is another name for a wireframe surface plot. So what we need to specify is first of all the list of x coordinate values. So we use the sequence function to create values from 10 to 300 feet at intervals of 5 feet. Second up we have the y coordinates and we again use the seek function to go from 10 to 300 feet at intervals of 5 feet. And then the third object is the z variable, which is the height of the fitted surface, corresponding to the various pairs of x and y coordinates. The phi and theta are options for looking at the surface from a different angle. xlab, ylab allow us to put a different text string on the x and y axis labels. And main is used to put an overall title onto the surface plot. So we can see here the plots that, been, that has been produced by the persp function and it's taken the heights and the combinations of x and y coordinates to fit this surface and plot it on the graph. 